friends, hello everyone. My name is Pavel Filipov and I am in the studio with me, or to be precise, in the office, Fedor Konstantinov. And today we are starting our webinar for beginners in FIRST. Next, we will discuss the basics of the project Airships of the New Generation. Generation, we will tell you you can participate in it. Participation, how you can become a part of this business and in general, what kind of business is this and when exactly will we please raise the first airship into the sky. Before we begin, don't forget about your activity. In the last webinar, we just finally saw that you, you can put more than 200 likes on our posts, broadcasts. For some reason, it is necessary to constantly remind about this. So dear friends, like, share, and always remember that the project is a people's initiative, and your activity determines the outcome, how exactly it will develop and how quickly it will happen, and certain events within the framework of our project. Today we are broadcasting for the first time on RuTube, so you can watch and enjoy it there. If you like this platform, we will be posting videos there. Subscribe to follow us on other social networks. We are currently mainly be contact on YouTube and RuTube. Social networks are all the rest of you. You can just see in the description below this broadcast. Don't forget to invite your friends, especially those who knows nothing about our project. Today will be interesting. We are indeed a financial company in our own right. We are the financial company Solar Group. We are an investment platform. There are currently ongoing several investment projects, and we are not just simply an investment platform in, in its classical understanding. We are indeed a crowdfunding platform. We finance projects through collective investment methods, but this means that each of you has even a small capital and likely can join our projects, such as we already have over 500,000 registered clients on at this point in time on our platform, and you can definitely be one of them. Or maybe you are already one of them. At the moment, currently, in our project in total, an amount of nearly $100 million was raised, namely about approximately $94 million. I think this year we, we will already surpass the beautiful milestone of $100 million. We have existed seven years, so during this time, indeed, a lot has been accomplished. In particular, we are currently at the final stage of our first project, Sovomesh, which we were creating engineering, an enterprise where development and design will take place. The most efficient electric motors in the world will be produced. There we have such a final stage, indeed. Now we will talk about the next investment project that was launched just two, a month ago, within which we will build a leader in the world of airship construction and innovation beyond and of course, naturally, before starting the second project, we, we searched for various options for quite a long time. We were looking specifically for what, what suits us, like what will be interesting to you. And Fedor Konstantinov was just the one answering for this activity, for this direction. First question I want to ask, to ask Fedor, why did you choose to stop exactly at topic about airships? Greetings to everyone. Yes, Pasha, indeed, every time I have to explain why... I will tell you, because the stars align this way in the vast night sky. Here is Sergei Semyonov, the CEO of the company Solar Group. Group, and this is from Pavel Filipov originally. I received the assignment of the project criteria that need to be met. To select and find the very next one simply and efficiently. And one of the criteria is the project, the technology. And for example, the team must be capable of forming an entire industry in various domains and fields, including technology and business, and that very small, tiny seed into which it will be necessary to invest, this is in the collective, in development should yield incredibly many fruits. A huge, fruitful, and vibrant tree. Airships are likely the most masthabne is. All those projects that I considered, we have looked at everyone with you, those who have reached out to us independently whom we personally found. This is the most mashtabna and the very coolest. One. Two. It seems that airships have such a fate that their construction is currently being financed and is expected to continue. A very collective, indeed popular method and way. And in Germany, they actually built airships like that. Hindenburg indeed collected a mark from each German there. And in the vast and expansive region of the Soviet Union, the widely renowned and notable newspaper Komsomolskaya Pravda was gathering significant influence and impact. For one airship, they collected enough for two. And undoubtedly the French were gathering in the 1800s. And so indeed the English were constantly gathering. And people are very interested in this topic. 
But if by any chance, perhaps indeed. After all, why? Because many analytical and various agencies of the state, they agreed that for support, the pace of economic growth is necessary in transport and logistics. To add new solutions to the system, and indeed these are new solutions, these are airships. Everyone has come to this, and many countries, they have already laid this foundation. China is ahead of planet, approximately 22 state ballooning institutes, they, they are directly training specialists. They have already lifted the device this year, into the air, received its license and certificate. For mass production, this is practically a copy. This is something between our Russian AU-30 and the German New Zeppelin. Somewhere in the middle they managed to achieve this. The French are laying down airships, the Americans are laying down airships, the English are. They're saying they'll go into production. Airlanders are set to launch worldwide very soon. Airship construction has literally started, and so it happened that we... There are currently active designers and active engineers in the country. Scientists who are engaged in ballooning, we were involved in it. A lifetime, and there is a team who is capable of realizing this but is located. Without funding, more precisely, was without funding. Everyone worked there well, earning a living, whoever. Where, those with an aviation theme, who is there in other corporations who are already retired here? And we actually managed to combine them so that we have a request, generally speaking, in general, from people. There are inquiries about where the airships have gone as we look at the statistics. According to Yandex queries, there are more than 100,000 results. Requests monthly only on Yandex. Airships. What are airships? Where have they gone? Airships are a very lively interest. If you look at YouTube, how many views there are and how quickly gather any video that comes out about airships. People are indeed extremely interested in airships from this perspective. People are interested in airships. Indeed, all countries have started to produce their own airships. We have a team capable of to build airships. There is no funding. We have Solar Group, which is looking for projects and can provide funding. In my opinion, everything came together just in time. Therefore, airships. You know, we all imagine what this is. Here is literally an airship. Can you say words about what it is? What exactly is the feature? How does it actually fly? And where is it typically used? Yes, I can. Everyone, I think, understands that the airship uses the principle of Archimedes. We will fill this entire volume with lifting gas. Previously, hydrogen was used, then began to use helium. Right now, it will most likely be exclusively helium. Here is the helium in. This volume creates lift. And on this lifting force, do not waste any energy. If we compare it to a helicopter or an airplane, for instance, the helicopter needs to spin the rotor to consume fuel in order to stay aloft. The airplane needs to constantly generate propulsive speed to generate lift on the wing. He cannot stop. And he also spends fuel for this. And the airship gently rises up for free. Conditionally, we have the following. Such a free anti-gravitation device. It is clear that for the creation, the propulsive force is provided by the screws on. The screws will definitely consume fuel and electricity there. It is clear that he has a large forehead, the resistance compared to airplanes and helicopters, but despite all this, it is still an airship. is considered the safest mode of air transport and with, of a certain dimension, the most economically efficient. It is the application area of these. The possibilities are absolutely very wide. Can we highlight some key points? Or the most interesting or possibly the most likely profitable? It is, first of all, limited only by the consciousness of people. Inertia of thinking and economic model and overall comprehensive structure inside which this process is trying to develop. In general, fantasies can absolutely be limitless up to, yes, I really like this example, that is, it could be a flying medical center perhaps, right? A whole clinic that moves through remote and underserved areas. And there, please, provide services to the population. This is such a non-trivial application of the airship, and the most trivial thing everyone on the internet. This involves the transportation of oversized, intricate, and complex heavy cargo, a logistical process involving various steps and considerations. It is extremely difficult to transport there by roads to the railway tracks because it is absolutely large.
He doesn't care that it is big. He it can literally lift up without any airfields. Manufacturer's plant lift a large oversized item and directly to where it needs to go, for example. This is definitely some kind of oil refining rig. Take it away. Directly to the place of operation. No one can provide such a service, but the airship can. They can be both small and about the area. Applications, these are small drones that are completely in. Unmanned versions monitor cities, forests, and water bodies such as lakes, rivers, streams, ponds, and reservoirs, boundaries of anything at all. They can also be medium-sized, like trucks, for instance, which are often used for various purposes. Conditionally, in a detailed and comprehensive manner, carry out this logistics of cargo transportation. They can be enormous, up to, in size. Flying clinics and flying hotels? Or such special aircraft indeed, like those of... We have a task here. Transportation of launch vehicles from the manufacturer to the Cosmodrome. And this transportation is very difficult, considering that all rockets are likely mainly made. In the European part of Russia and Vostokny, we built it on that side. Our goal is to ensure that the rocket is transported to its destination in a manner that is both cost-effective and efficient, optimizing resources and minimizing expense, and indeed safe only on the airship. They can be like that too. Are stratospheric ones separate as well? Stratospheric airships are indeed the dream of many. This is an innovative and efficient replacement for satellite constellations, utilizing modern technology. The airship can be used around the Earth. It has max load capacity. It can actually carry really large cargo, like perhaps... It can be used at an altitude of over 5 kilometers. The atmosphere is already rarefied there. The winds are a bit different. And then it can be fast. That is, here in the dense layers it does not. Such a speed of 150, conditionally, kilometers per hour. That is what you can expect up to a maximum of 200. At over 5 kilometers, expect to higher speeds, up to 400, potentially reaching 400, possibly more. Even higher is the stratosphere. Stratospheric platforms such as a very promising direction. The same as what satellites do, communication, remote, earth probing and more, but definitely at a much lower cost. To launch a satellite into orbit, you need to, to build an entire rocket, which has only been brought to the mask so far, can certainly land, while for everyone else it falls. It launches the satellite into orbit. He moves along this orbit, you, you cannot repair or replace it. And it is widely believed that a considerable number of individuals in the community agree that having built a stratospheric airship can be equipped with such equipment, including advanced communication, surveillance, and navigation systems, provide strong competition to satellite constellations with, from an econ view, from a tech view. After all, you can relocate it, just hang around. Over one point, then over another. It can be landed back, repaired, and then reused. Maintenance. Replace the payload. Lift it back up, and this is much cheaper than launching a space rockets and the construction of a new satellite. So yes, right now on the internet, well, you know, actually, out in the internet in the world, the internet is indeed like a mirror, where everything is reflected. There are a lot of startups for launching tourists into the stratosphere, but it's such a very, it's a romantic story. People like it. Look, people will definitely be riding into the stratosphere. Absolutely cool indeed, but almost everyone secretly thinks that like, perhaps, you know, something like that. People are good, still, to occupy the stratosphere from the point. In terms of ensuring connections, data, and so on, here it is itself the goal. Because it is a very lucrative sector. Air is occupied, space is occupied, stratosphere is still free. But if we indeed compare, then these same tasks can to be performed and to all well-known and familiar flying vehicles. What do we get in comparison? The airship is cheaper. Compared to what? Let's say if we are going to talk about the transportation of only a limited number of passengers or cargo compared to the MI-8 helicopter. Well, it depends on the size of the airship. With a certain size, the airship will be the cheapest mode of transport. In the calculation of one ton per one kilometer, but it must be... He should not be alone. There should be a whole, a series, and in fact, there should be a whole transportation system. But it has enormous potential to become the most, still a very cheap, that is, economically efficient mode of transport.
When comparing helicopters, it is abundantly clear that, indeed, in terms of durability, the airship is much more durable, significantly cheaper than helicopters and airplanes as well. He is certainly from the dimensions there. Until such a time as I will be, to speak in general from certain dimensions, he can already compete with a truck in many ways, including in terms of economic efficiency and other aspects, for instance, to stand quietly and calmly on one step. And the dimension exceeds a hundred tons, two hundred and... Further, it is even more efficient than maritime transport, as it is the cheapest. And so you were talking about the fact that other companies are also trying to do something now. So, it turns out that we are certainly, you could say, entering into the race of these airship companies and therefore we, we say that the project is being done at the right time. For example, it should not be done later, perhaps. There would be no real point in doing it at all. Can you give examples of what is being done now? What other companies have they ventured into? Germany has indeed long been developing tourism. In that specific direction, they operate units there their own new zeppelins and other similar. They are currently taking tourists around the lake in Friedrichshafen, and they have an economic model, profitable, well, quite profitable. They have a lot of money, rich, and that is enough for them. Plus, they used to produce one airship at a time. At five years old, they sold it in the area, $20 million for one piece. Just like this, exactly, indeed, and felt really comfortable. But right now, all this comfort will be squeezed from the side of China, because in fact, China actually produced one that was approximately the same, and ordered an additional ten more for the next year. If Germans build one in five, in the coming years, China plans to build ten in one year, and indeed exactly with the same essential purpose of operation, ultimately, fundamentally, in essence, and this is tourism. Tourism is now domestic Chinese. But having built ten devices, roughly speaking, launching them, in tourism, they will see how much they have there. Ultimately, it will be at the cost of production and operation. It will surely be much cheaper than the Germans. Here, the Germans will have to keep moving forward. They didn't particularly want to move. Before this, it is tourism for China. For the English, the airlander is also tourism. It also mentions that, that these will likely be serial devices. While he is there alone, I haven't found a quality one yet. I have never seen him fly, but he flew... He had many failures there, launches you saw. There is a double, a triple, then it goes into the ground. So it bounced back like a ball there, and the fence was getting caught. But they say they have learned to stabilize it. It's also tourism, but this is already VIP tourism, if in the chain. The lines are just regular seats, like in an airplane. You sit there looking out the window, and you can walk around there. In the cabin stick, head out open window. It will be the same in China. They are already doing VIP tourism, that's when they, they promise a glass floor, leather sofas, a bar restaurant, and some other things. Cabins, and the journey is not approximately an hour and a half somewhere in some location, and to the North Pole conditionally. Yes, it is indeed very expensive. The ticket prices are already high. They announce sales in open and non. In the open, about $200,000. It seems like it certainly costs a person for such a journey. Again, tourism, but for the wealthy. Sergey Brin was actually assembling an airship in America. The Zeppelin scheme, the old one, the Hindenburg scheme. He wanted to build a rigid, the largest one, a modern airship, and he also assembled it. But with its flight and technical characteristics, indeed, rather. Overall, everything is quite a little sad. He indeed declared that it would be a rescue airship. Just like with us, forest fires occur periodically. They also have floods, storms, and other such things, and hurricanes, and other severe weather conditions. He declared that he would be a savior. Whether he will be able to do so in the end is still unclear. But I know that Google definitely indeed had plans. They wanted to build high-altitude airships for the purpose of to place server equipment such as on them. The cold there is free. But undoubtedly the generation of the hold is very expensive. The same story for those servers, like... Maybe they were building them for him, but no one. We didn't say that we would provide local support to the Ministry of Emergency Situations. Unknown. There are small startups. There is another solar system in our galaxy. It is known as the airship. 
The French indeed promised to make it fully electric, on solar panels, eco-friendly, zero. After emissions and other such matters and considerations, they aim to make it tourist-oriented. A startup has been launched in Africa and is in full operation. Together with the French, we created a small drone in collaboration with our esteemed French partners. Completely small, he buy. According to the standards of airship enthusiasts, considered a toy. It results in a drone with an aerostatic unloading. It can be called an airship. It is used for delivery. Medications to reach even the most distant and inaccessible remote corners. A different application. Also the European one side not. I remember indeed what they did too. A controlled airship with buoyancy assistance. It turns out most likely this is indeed an airship. <coughs> More than that of Africans. They specifically made them for monitoring the power transmission line. Also a drone. An unmanned vehicle for purposes. Amazon. The well-known e-commerce giant holds a patent for a specific technology. Amazon has patented an innovative and revolutionary flying warehouse concept, a system he has loaded somewhere over there and is flying over the city. And drones use it for point delivery, for instance. He went safely through the ring and landed back. Have they started building it? I don't know yet. Probably not. Advertising airships are still used somewhere out there. Recently, many could in fact see there. It went viral on Telegram, apparently in Brazil. There was some kind of incredible, exciting, thrilling, and memorable football competition. They successfully launched the local airship in the bustling city with eye-catching promotional advertising, and efficiently, suddenly the teams crashed into the building. Advertising airships. They were built before, and now someone has them. Is anyone building something purely for advertising purposes unlikely? Though the technologies have changed, the airships can be fully constructed, covered with an LED mesh. This will definitely be some kind of advertisement, like a flying screen. Many companies are actually literally building those that are perhaps just well known, so to speak. And the directions are also different in certain aspects. And please kindly tell us as you transition to us what more airships we will have. We will build what additional infrastructure do you plan to create and what assets within the company, within the project. What kind of business will this exactly be like? How I started with Tula. The creation of an entire industry is indeed planned. Most likely this is a transport one, a system based on airships. This is how it will sound. We plan to build from small to large and expand our efforts. Airship enthusiasts in general tend to demonstrate professional deformation and gigantism. You are making the airship a little bit more. His characteristics, in fact, increase very well. His energy armament. The lifting forces increase significantly and gradually along with the volume. The drag force increases significantly with the square. And they all, they are trying to make it a little better, a little bigger, a little more. And finally declare indeed as we do. Right now there are air shifts, and there is also such a collective. In our country they say that next year, they will build an airship with a carrying capacity of 600 tons. There are many such statements on the planet. Everyone talks about 1000, 2010. Understood. We will not do that because it is impossible not having built, so to speak, a line from, from small to medium to take on the great. We will not do that. We will initially start with the unmanned and optionally a piloted airship, such as the lifting capacity of this volume of gas from which we will start. It will weigh two tons, carrying capacity. But of course, the envelope weighs something. The engines weigh a certain amount and the gondola weighs a certain amount. Here's our task, to optimize this matter as possible. And it will definitely be a drone that can about approximately 500 kilograms without any problems to transport over a considerable distance of 500 kilometers or more. It will be like an unmanned one, as well as optionally piloted. And such drones are indeed very much needed. Maybe you will, maybe like draw it. Last time, as you know, you did it. Let me draw a little bit more, just a bit more, please, if you don't mind. In addition to flying vehicles, there will be created various hangars and so on, such as... That is, we move on to discussion. What we are exactly doing in this project, currently, 
at this moment. In this project, we are establishing a parent company, which will serve as a central entity to manage and coordinate various subsidiaries. This structure aims, as it turns out, interestingly enough, the parent company will indeed be, in reality, ultimately, as a matter of fact, the very one, the point of competence of this very transport industry, in the context of its operations and its various facets. Airship, which will include an advanced state-of-the-art design bureau and an innovative research and development center, which will be engaged in design, it already. This includes, it turns out, is already organized. This will include pilot production and testing phases, comprehensive evaluation and iterative improvements and flight testing complex and... This will include serial production and testing, evaluation and quality assurance. This will include the company and other entities which will operate everything. To operate this, a training center is necessary. There will be a large holding of a variety of different companies in... Within a parent company such as a, this parent company is just... is being meticulously and collaboratively created through crowdfunding. And the first product... A design bureau will be engaged. We recently held a scientific and technical council. On it, we defined the main key tactical and technical requirements for this device. And as I said, this will be... This device, Model 2200, features a significant volume of 2,000 cubic meters. It is designed for handling large tasks efficiently, making it a reliable choice in various industrial applications. Its substantial capacity, with a payload capacity of about 500 kilograms, you can take more or perhaps you can take less. This will be a remarkably efficient and highly advanced, innovative, technologically cutting-edge, state-of-the-art drone. The first link, that is the most transport system, there is conditionally a center where these drones are based. Airships have a range of at least 500 kilometers, which is quite significant, or even more in some cases approximately, that are capable of operating automatically without human participation, pick up the cargo, deliver it, Proceed directly to the designated location, then return to the starting point. Once there, carefully unload all items. After unloading, return to your original position. We calculated the expenses for small devices, uh, probably up to, and other related costs, such as maintenance and repairs, in the budget. Payload capacity of approximately 10 tons, and even further, or even more, up to 40. Exactly a very large share of the economic costs in... The operation of the airship includes the salaries of pilots and ground personnel, such as their wages, benefits, and other related expenses, and other necessary costs. Technicians who are involved in a certain process, such as those who are deeply involved in the process, it literally reaches almost half. Therefore, the first goal is simply to create a fully unmanned airship. And it will then be maximally economically efficient, and it absolutely already has a task. In remote regions, our Soviet aviation reaches their last flight hours, and we may recently. The significant gap in cargo communication between certain remote, isolated, distant, and far-flung settlements, and this device will easily accomplish this task, both in terms of economics and technical implementation, considering various factors and aspects, such as the overall impact and efficiency. This will be the first device, approximately about 2,000 cubic meters. We are constructing it using methods similar to those traditionally employed in airship building, ensuring precision and care in every detail hangars, and we will also be building hangars in the future. But it was initially decided to make the first prototype device of this specific size to pass through at the height of classic 12-meter structures. The door in a standard aviation hangar, which is available in at each airport, and to speed up the project, not to build own hangar, not to spend money on it for him, their land is also needed. It was the first one decided to make it like that. Yes, but we definitely still need the land, and as part of this project, we will be acquiring it. We also need a hangar, but this, everything is needed for the next device. The next device will certainly be, if this one is, here is for 2,000 cubic meters, the next one is rather, the total volume of the device will be about 10,000 cubic meters. Maybe, likely greater than 10. It's from 10 tons. We are talking about payload capacity. Approximately 10 tons of payload capacity is indeed significantly much more than expected. This will be 10 tons. We do not yet know exactly what it will be like. We cannot say because initially, at the very start, many technical solutions will be tested on this device. 
they probably have schemes. The management and other aspects will coincide. That is, everything will be transported on this device and only then. We will be able to think about what our larger device will be. That is, step by step. We are not fantasizing what we... We will certainly have approximately 600 tons around in total, ready by the end of the day tomorrow, without any doubt. And so, it is absolutely imperative, without delay, to acquire the following devices. Build a hangar on the ground for the purpose of safely and securely storing and protecting aircraft. And all of this is planned to be done within the framework of the project. That is the investments, attracting to the parent company, will be invested in the acquisition of additional funds for land, and in the construction of a hangar such as, I will just tell you a little bit more about the hangar. This is definitely not a hangar for the airship. All airships are at the moment in the process of being laid down. Initially during the design phase, we will embed properties in them such as, as it is with an airplane, a helicopter, or any car. This is free storage on the street. A hangar is more about serial assembly, airships and their regular maintenance for ongoing inspection and care. And this is undoubtedly absolutely essentially indeed needed because collecting new ones. Modern airships are indeed very large, especially, you know, but you can certainly, you know, find some old ones, you know. A hangar that is perfectly suitable for us in size. And we even have such things in our country. In Krasnoyarsk, they were undoubtedly building an exceptionally large one. A state-of-the-art factory for the high-quality production of river sea ships and innovative designs. And it is standing there now unused. It has both huge gates and its size is sufficient. But still indeed, this is not it. Elnik is with us. It is absolutely necessary indeed and its construction as well. There is a construction company here. At this point in our process, we are going to proceed with the next step, which involves adding the necessary components to ensure everything is set up correctly and functions as intended. Everything is in the parent company. As part of the project, it is obviously and evidently clear that acquisition of land, construction of a hangar, and preparation for the subsequent development, and the production of two types of devices. How many of them will there be? At least two of each item, object, or article. That's the absolutely necessary and essential minimum. We will most definitely, most likely indeed, build more of these. We will immediately put them into serial production. We will have several prototypes. Samples, at least two pieces or more. After we have conducted all the experiments with we will conduct and refine all technologies in various fields and methodologies and we will already have them in place to ensure efficiency and effectiveness currently in cooperation without a dedicated hangar but already there will be the possibility to produce them in series and consequently to sell them therefore to make a profit from this and this device within the framework of the project it is necessary to build at least two units better more if this device is currently in operation and conditionally unmanned or optionally manned and there with its additional features and equipment, the issue of license certification is still pending. A substantially large device will definitely need to be certified seriously, such as, yes, and at least two operational devices such as smartphones, tablets or laptops and other electronic gadgets, most likely, almost literally four. And all of this, it should be built within the framework of crowdfunding. Besides the two devices, I have already listed many things here, and a variety of other items. A training center and even some production, serial production. In fact, in reality, serial production is in essence essentially a hangar. Plus, small areas possibly even for rent for the purpose of... In order to retain absolutely essential, very important and crucial technologies for ourselves, and essential for our future, an airship is a very large, intricate and complex thing with many components and parts to manufacture parts, components, and assemblies all independently. But that's, you know, foolish. At the initial stages, this is very foolish. This will be produced in broad cooperation. Somewhere we will get the screw somewhere. Transmissions, somewhere engines, somewhere someone with feathers. For us, someone will calculate, someone will do. In fact, actually, indeed, here I even, I don't know how many parts, like, but still some technologies such as cutting and welding The shells and other things such as these need to be kept for ourselves and other similar items because if you do everything broadly, the cooperation was discussed so someone might be able to repeat it. Therefore, as a very important part of the project, some critical, the technology will still be mastered independently. Ideally, yes, of course, to master and the production of the fabric itself because who produces the fabric which is essential and vital in the process of airship construction and development controls airship construction. And all of this is absolutely needed for to produce its own innovative, advanced and cutting-edge line of airships. But besides the fact that there will be its own line, 
It will also be possible to take on and carry out some tasks, special orders for the production of certain devices. Yes, it will be possible to take special orders. All of this is being done for the creation of in order to achieve success, it is essential to have, firstly, a highly productive and efficient team, along with a fully functional and advanced modern technology and state-of-the-art technology, and a highly efficient, forward-thinking, sustainable business unit. Serially produced data and data devices can further ensure the development of this companies such as even up to an entire industry. Without external funding or any assistance, naturally with external financing, the pace can be increased and significantly improve quality, efficiency, effectiveness, and overall performance. But overall, this parent company, financed through crowdfunding, will already be maximally sustainable, profitable, and to have potential for development. And of course, she will take external orders for development and execution. By external orders, Pavel was most likely referring to is precisely the same Roscosmos that exactly as it was. We'll see, roughly speaking, how we demonstrate our capabilities. We have devices flying in unmanned mode. We are already engaged in the design of a large device. It is indeed clear that many leading the country's institutions will participate. Someone is already participating, but we won't reveal it just yet at this moment. We are becoming, it turns out, a serious player as well, until precisely at the moment when we physically, we can build a large device like this, but we can take an order for development, and we will take orders for development. This is certainly also one of the profitable areas to demonstrate its capabilities and accept external orders. Highly specialized devices for business and comprehensive solutions for specific tasks. And so there may be an understanding, yes, of what the devices will come later. Yes, indeed, that is, we, we are actually currently creating a clear business unit, as you said. Yes, you know, indeed. That is, indeed, this is certainly a company that makes money which no longer depends on external investments, which is capable, including paying dividends to investors, for example, but this, it's the first step, right? Basically, you know, like perhaps. That's right. In general, the goal is quite close to being truly fantastic. However, there are still some areas that need further refinement and improvement. This requires completely feasible, undoubtedly not difficult at all. After assembling the 10-ton vehicle, assemble the 40-ton vehicle, and then assemble 100 tonner approximately, and move on to the production of 200 tonner, each in weight. This not yet includes stratospheric, stratospheric somewhere over nearly 40 tons. This is, as you might already be aware, indeed, in many ways, a completely and utterly different and unique story altogether, maximally profitable. The first one to lift a stratospheric airship into the stratosphere, the money flies away there as well, into the stratosphere and the creation of a 200-ton vehicle. The goal is not just to create a 200-ton device, but the goal is to mass-produce them economically in order to achieve this efficiently and effectively. Justified, functioning, and seamlessly integrated into the transportation system efficiently and effectively. Many analytical agencies come to the conclusion that the who will be able to mass-produce such devices and their components, parts, and other related components in the near future, to use qualitatively, could potentially become the richest company in the planet, open the air silk road, and explore vast new opportunities. And this is possible. This is very possible. And of course, we will strive for this. And all these various devices and technologies and production and the training center, everything will be laid out. This is a truly significant and ambitious objective, one that requires a great deal of effort, dedication, and resources to achieve successfully. Well, I suppose that is pretty much all there is to say, really, in general terms, you know, basically, essentially. So, shall we then tell how this can be done? Can we participate or something more to add? If there are questions, there are questions. Yes, we will add more there later. Here is actually, quite literally, the first question I saw. Will the first state-owned one fly from us in the Tomsk region? Most likely unmanned, yes, because of the Tomsk region. It seems to be allocated specifically for these drones. Technologies, so there may potentially be the first launch there. Will be at the factory's conditional site. The second one can there. To be in Zhukovsky at some experimental field. The testing of this equipment in combat scenarios out in the fields will be an experience you will undergo, allowing you to witness its effectiveness firsthand. Yes, friends, I think we didn't talk about this, he said, but you can write your questions in principle. You can already do it right now simply and easily.
on YouTube, on vContact. We will look at all the questions and answer all the questions. Before we move on to the questions, let's just briefly talk that topic, which is undoubtedly surely of very much interest to you, especially if you are really that newcomer who is here for the first time, watches the presentation, how to participate in this, how you can, so to speak, contribute to ensuring that everything, it appeared almost certainly as quickly as possible. At first, we said that we support our projects through collective investment. This project is no exception. Today we are attracting additional funding to implement. These are the tasks like that Fyodor was talking about. It is already planned for the year as scheduled to lift the first airship into the sky. And the first device, let's say, from the company, Nova was indeed discussed even earlier today in the office when this may potentially happen. I don't know, Fedor might consider it necessary even. It is possible to give some small announcement on this matter. I have already said yes, certainly, a lot. I apologize for the cough. I don't understand what it is. I got a little sick. At the very beginning of the project, I said that the engineers, the designers that we are gathering, and we, they gathered, and they have a hobby. It is launching. Stratospheric devices, such as unmanned and manned balloons, they change altitude according to height, making adjustments throughout in their flight. They are eager to develop this direction and for it also has some potentially promising future, both commercial and otherwise. Quite definitely within a foreseeable time frame. Everyone said, certainly, let's launch, let's continue. Previously, all of this was done out of their own pockets, conditionally, as a personal and fulfilling hobby, but it was meticulously done by dedicated scientists and they successfully completed it. This is key to scientific purposes. It was impossible not to support them, the question, because it is still in, in any case, indeed, ultimately leads to large stratospheric platforms. And it was said that we can be the first to launch even by the end of summer. Indeed, perhaps. But indeed, due to the fact that the priorities have slightly shifted a bit, others were, we needed to organize ourselves and organize serious work on the large device we have deadlines, have shifted significantly to the right, and here is the nearest deadline when, they already said when the work has started and everyone has returned. To this work, far from being the first priority, they said, well, as you might have noticed, overall we have finished that. Communication systems, launch systems, we can potentially launch as early as this Saturday, what we ourselves were not prepared for in any way. They said this Saturday, it's too early, let's wait a week. So here's an important insight from today's broadcast that, if not this week, then definitely next week, it is possible that the first device from the company Nova will already fly and there will definitely even be some kind of broadcast or video. We will show you all of this like... Yes, tests of the communication system are currently planned. On these devices, in particular, on this specific device of the system, connections and also to conduct a live broadcast from the troposphere. No one has done anything like this in our country at all yet. So, definitely, the task is to create a bit of a fuss out of this, right? Well, don't make a fuss. Well, at the very least, I just think that many of not watching the project will be addressed. Pay attention to this, especially if you, the viewers and other investors, and spread this additional information more about what the first device is being launched, and there will be a live broadcast. In the coming days, we will publish some information to make it possible. It was important to understand the discussion topic. The end, what links are there, where to send, what to whom. I hope we will determine the exact date. The main thing is that absolutely nothing happens at all with the weather. Yes, the weather is nice this Saturday. But look, launching a live broadcast from the stratosphere, when the planet is covered with clouds, it is not as interesting. A sunny day is preferable. The wind and all of this are undoubtedly already of no particular difference. Well, all right, so that's it, basically. All the information will be there. We will post all of this on social media and in the news returning directly to the involvement of those people who are currently involved in the ongoing process. This broadcast is being watched, and not only by me. I already said that all of this is being created with money. Private investors, and at the moment are indeed currently already quite significantly large. The path has been traveled, although only two months have passed, but the first device is already being launched. A scientific and technical council has taken place regarding the first airship. Work has begun, literally in the office. The team all gathered together in one place. We talked about all of this at News webinar last Wednesday. Be sure to take a look. The initial investments are already being spent on the needs of the project. 
and now we are indeed right at the very beginning. That is, you must understand that right now, in this moment, you... We are currently at this moment in the so-called pre-launch initial preparation phase of the financing process. Something else might still be unclear still. There may not be some materials. So people are asking when the 3D renders will be available, for example. But at the same time, one can participate in the very best under the conditions. And now I will tell you about it. Overall, the project is undoubtedly currently attracting approximately the sum of $100 million. These $100 million drawn from private investors who will be such as approximately 49% of the company being created has been transferred. Everyone will receive their share depending on from the amount that a person initially invests, such as today each and every investor receives investment shares. You can easily purchase these shares on our investment platform Solar Group, having invested in the innovative and diverse amounts. And after the funding is completed, these shares will in fact be exchanged for shares of another company. Currently the company Solar Group whose shares you acquire as you may know it is, well, it will be soon, already effectively be, as long as there is such an agreement, but it will be completed soon. The company Solar Group will own approximately about 49% of the new, and accordingly its share will then will be transferred to the investors that is to you. I think you definitely understand what to do with a share in the business, likely there are always two classic ways like to potentially earn on such an investment this is to have the opportunity to sell this share for a higher price than you are buying it now because well of course the company is at the current stage where it will only be the first device will be launched and the company that will be located at this point which will make money like this is a company that will cost different costs and have different capitalizations currently the goal is to elevate the company Nova with a capitalization of approximately $1 billion currently valued at. This is significantly more than an ordinary and calculated figure regarding the additional details about the income that the company will receive. This calculation is taken to receive from the mass production of two types of those devices, such as the ones that I mentioned. Yes, Posh, it is necessary to tell more about the timelines. You are talking about $100 million. This is indeed for a sufficiently long enough period, and therefore the amount is quite realistic. We have indeed done this before and can do it again. Three to five years, the goal that we are currently, we set a temporary goal in front of us and just like that, it is closely associated with the deadlines and timelines that are needed directly for the implementation of tasks within the project because a dirigible is not just only money, it is also about design, time, creativity and aesthetics directly for its creation, launch and ongoing development and everything similar. The first device, I don't know, it seems they didn't say out loud, but the first experimental 2,000 cubic meter device will take off approximately within the very near future, within a year. It turns out that a year is actually now less than a year because it was supposed to take off within a year. We just said this about a month ago. So the first device will take off in the near future, in about a year, but in order to officially certify it, you can successfully obtain a type certificate from the relevant authorities there. An official and valid certificate of a single product can be obtained in order to, to commercially exploit it in any way. Any certificate is required. Get this also time further. It is indeed clear, very certainly, undoubtedly, absolutely, and undeniably, without a doubt. It will take a lot of time on the ground if there too, there is a choice. Either take someone else's ready-made airfield, it's indeed expensive, or to take agriculture in the Ugodier where... We will build these hangars, then it will be very long in terms of administrative work to transfer to the proper use of this land. There are some acquaintances who are not in the Moscow region, and in the neighboring area they built themselves a private aerograd. It took them approximately around five years to complete this field. The agricultural land was designated as an aerograd in the city's master plan, with a runway and some already constructed and operational buildings. And so, yes, indeed, three to five years is undoubtedly incredibly rapid for the creation of such a mass production of two types of devices. And a hundred million dollars is absolutely very cheap if you look at it. How much does the same Bryn spend? How much did he spend exactly, precisely, or specifically? It seems that he already has around two hundred million dollars there. He has surpassed, and this is just one device he is assembling. There is currently no factory for their large-scale mass production process. So at this moment, therefore, the exact production schedules remain somewhat ambiguous and uncertain. Realistically unrealistic. The sum is realistically unrealistic. 
but the airship itself is also magical. History. Sometimes people ask, they say, how much money does Bryn have? Spent and still won't launch it. What is the reason that it is not working out? For much money, it doesn't work out. There is certainly no school. It was indeed accepted there, though. Management decision to recruit top engineers from various industries just simply set them a task to build a huge device simultaneously at once. They do not know all the various different and numerous types of childhood diseases, and it was absolutely necessary. Start just small, a little bigger, medium, slightly a little bigger, and only then eventually reach the big. All those ailments that could be very quickly and carefully assemble a small tiny one and then thoroughly experiment on it. They dragged it onto the big one, and that they and the deadlines are stretching out and the amount is endless. Well, overall, you know, they have chosen... They are currently building a rigid airship, according to this scheme. They were not experts in the airship. The matter, they consulted with someone there, by some experts indeed, but they chose a somewhat questionable and rather rigid scheme. Indeed, it turned out very heavy for them, literally, with modern materials, technologies, and with intelligence, with the right approach. He had the Hindenburg airship its own very specific dimensions and its own load capacity. It is possible to assemble airships of the same dimensions using modern materials and it will be twice as light and its payload capacity almost four times more. Because he himself weighed indeed quite a bit, he was dragging what remained in essence in terms of lift force and fundamentally in terms of the overall dynamics, which was crucial ultimately, was they are building an extremely heavy almost Hindenburg. Of course, it's definitely easier, but it doesn't work out at all. Returning directly to the conditions for investors, in terms of plus or minus, and in general and overall, in a broader sense, I've already said everything. Today you just buy shares now. You receive shares, you get a part of the business, 49% for approximately 100 million United States dollars, amounting to a significant sum, will be transferred to the investors. Accordingly, right now, at this particular moment, you can already invest this money, will already be used for their own devices, for salaries and other expenses engineers and all the necessary everything that is needed for that so that as Fyodor undoubtedly said within a year already the first we lifted the device into the sky everything depends on you the pace at which people will project support and it will undoubtedly continue to develop we started well we started actively undoubtedly indeed if not we exceeded the threshold of 2,000 investors there, and we are certainly indeed moving forward with more than sufficient funding. And as you can clearly see, we are on the right path, making progress. In just two months, they are already actively preparing. Indeed, they are scheduled for the upcoming launch of the first device. Congratulate those dedicated investors who joined the project. If you are still thinking, feel free to ask questions at any time or seek clarification. We will now move on to you, to them. We will read the questions on vcontact, on Rutube, and on other platforms such as on YouTube, indeed, all the links were in the news. Please follow us on social media if you want to keep up with the news. And remember that our projects are absolutely and undoubtedly very important and significant. They are with one. The parties provide a truly remarkable and unparalleled opportunity to earn and be part of an incredible large business. But on the other hand, indeed, we are for a big idea. Indeed, the projects that we are working on, they, they are changing both the world and Russia for the better in many impactful and positive ways. We do what needs to be done. For some reason, it somehow perhaps didn't work out before. And you can definitely, surely become a part of this big one. Stories where, thanks to you, truly remarkable airships finally exist in Russia and will undoubtedly and rightfully take their rightful place in the world. Well, besides the money, indeed, as they say, there will be something for you to be undoubtedly proud because it is remarkably interesting. Mm and important. Yes, at least independently on. It would be nice to fly there. We were in Germany. I, I rode on a device like this, such as this one. This is a completely indescribable feeling. This is not a helicopter. I have ridden in helicopters, not an airplane. We all flew on them. This is certainly more like a way out to calm and relax. Water by boat or by motorboat. You stepped out, the engines were turned off, and you were calm. You stand confidently, feeling safe, nothing. It doesn't make noise, you don't fall, nothing. You are just simply in the sky. Yes, indeed, it is absolutely, undoubtedly, and certainly possible without any doubt. Yes, it's necessary and ongoing that soon such whales will be sailing the sky, we will be on them to ride and earn. Well, of course, where would that be without it? Definitely, surely, certainly.
what you are saying is in, in Russia and in the world most likely even, it will be possible to produce and operate them in series more quickly. It may not even be in our country. There are regions where this is absolutely vital. This is also vital for us, but we have, in the country, a tradition to have the best of something first. To make someone then for self. Africa, Indonesia, and India are regions that are in dire need of assistance and support. There, in that particular region, the aviation requirements and regulations are considerably less complex and more straightforward. In general, with the bureaucracy that pertains to aviation, it is quite likely that we will have the first experimental samples here. We will build them, but where will they be used on a large scale if, in various industries and sectors, suddenly in Russia such awareness will come? One can also hear, of course, but Africa looks promising as well. Here we are now with, with them in good partnership relations. And investors, by the way, at Solar Group, there are many from the Solar Group in Africa, and by the way, they certainly had a very lively interest. I have already conducted webinars for many countries, Solar Group. I don't know, there are 190 or so. Something strange invested in the previous project. How much have I invested in this? Don't know, can't say. There are top countries, probably around 30, yes, right now. Which countries that are leading and top in global investments in solar around the world? Well, we usually show the top 10. And I conduct frequent and informative webinars for this top 10. Investors are interested. They are like, so Fedor, come to us, tell us what you have. They all gathered there together in order to do something new. And yesterday I gathered a significant amount of valuable knowledge and perspectives at the webinar for Africa. And perspectives, people I have so much, that is, I have not gathered anywhere very lively. Interest, everyone says that it is very much needed. Very important. Everyone investing in matter. They say, please build them for us. Like, we need both in private and public. They say, how much will the private airships cost? I say, well, a private airship there for transportation. Six people, well, conditionally, like a car, will cost you. If we do everything we planned indeed, and we are considering its serial production there, a six-seater car can be made on, based on something like this airship, just unmanned. It can be made so affordable. The purchase will be equivalent to buying a high-quality and reliable boat, such as a good boat. They have such a goal and they were pleased. They told us that in fact it is clear that everyone, as we can all agree, urgently needs airships at this very particular moment in the entire world. The interest is significant and before addressing the questions, let's move on. I will remind you once again about the pre-launch stage. The amount of $20 million is divided into 20 funding stages like these. At each stage, various will be implemented. The project's goals and a certain amount will be attracted. Of course, naturally, with each stage, the investment conditions will most likely change. The closer we get to the 20th stage, then the investment conditions will definitely and therefore be less attractive. In other words, at the first stage you are, you will acquire more for the same amount. The number of shares, such as, for example, at approximately stage 10. It is clear why, because at the first stage of funding, the risks are higher than 10, for example. And thus, as an investor, you compensate for your risk. We offer you the best financial investment conditions, unparalleled opportunities, exclusive benefits, advantages, and privileges in exchange for what? Are you ready to take on significant risks and invest in the project now rather than waiting for that moment when the airships will fly, when everything will become obvious to everyone? Because yes, money is certainly needed now for this very airship to take off. At the same time, we are not at the first stage of funding now. As some of you may have thought, we are currently in the pre-launch stage or as we, in fact, also call it the zero stage. This is the stage in which we complete the main process and finalize the details. Preparation for the essential main, so to speak, round of funding, because the project was being prepared. For a long time, he prepared for three years, and now you see such a finale. This preparation, when everything the team is exactly, it has been gathered, and they agreed on which aircraft will be used. The legal process is coming to an end. The binding is completed, the marketing is finished, the packaging of the project, and all of this is done before your eyes. That is, without a doubt, the project is being launched right now, right before your eyes. Well, accordingly, that's why this is not the first stage, but the pre-launch. Well, at the pre-launch stage, you, you can absolutely get the best investment conditions. Today, our average discount is approximately 1,000. As soon as we move from the pre-launch, the discount for the first stage will be 500. What is a discount? This is how many shares you receive. 
for every dollar invested. That is now for every dollar invested, you will receive approximately an average of a thousand shares in the first stage, which we will have very soon in the upcoming days. We'll start for every dollar invested, you will be to receive an average of only about 500 shares or something similar. So if you absolutely join the project today, indeed, you are definitely fixing for yourself the absolutely best, most ideal investment conditions. Please don't forget about this if you are on this webinar. If you are definitely intrigued in this amazing project, as they say, don't miss out. At the very time these conditions are precisely available. Well then, I suggest we move on to the questions. Let me read the questions out loud then. By the way, it's interesting on Rootube. I don't understand how to view the number of viewers. We are broadcasting here for the first time today. I will understand how many people are watching us here. If anyone out there sees this, please write. Let's start with them a little bit. The first question. Aren't you afraid that the actions... <coughs> can the KSVU carry out a sabotage or perhaps another action like... Can a copter do... To possibly undermine or interpret the airship? Overall, it simply often comes down to that... What if something possibly flies into the airship? Yes, without a doubt, and we constantly respond that. If it arrives by plane or perhaps in a car... If it arrives, then it's most certainly, without a doubt, in all likelihood, potentially going to be a disaster. But no, we are indeed not afraid at all. We have some acquaintances indeed, and not just one. In our country, things have started to become very active now. The development of advanced and innovative anti-drone systems, that is, technological security solutions for enhanced protection, they are made there like for private cars, for private buildings, for enterprises, and for megacities. Naturally, the airship will indeed be a very, very tempting target, undoubtedly. We will equip it with all these absolutely essential and comprehensive protection systems, but anything is possible. Therefore, the first airships are currently a bit unstable. Time. These vehicles will operate without human intervention, which will significantly enhance the safety measures for all individuals involved, ensuring that no one is put at risk during their operation. We will make airships from durable materials, non-flammable, non-explosive materials, and other similar safe materials. We will film all of this and show it. Let's see, maybe we'll even launch a drone into it ourselves. Let's take a closer look at how he might respond or react to this particular situation, considering all the possible outcomes. Fyodor said that there would be a large staff in the Emerging Design Bureau. Tell me, teacher, is it? Within the framework of the project, such a large salary fund, after all, qualified personnel is an expensive tool. Naturally, undoubtedly, an expensive tool. Naturally, a large salary fund has been taken into account. Naturally, it is likely necessary to... In fact, actually, there are not many engineers currently in the field of engineering yet. It is clear that many would like to, to participate in the development and will participate in the development of large devices, but for the lift of almost certainly this 2000. There are a lot of people in the cubic meters of the apparatus. Not necessary. At the present moment, our team is composed of approximately 12 dedicated individuals who are part of our staff. This group of professionals works together to ensure the smooth operation of our organization, specifically with engineering and design activities that they are engaged in and quite... We will probably just stop here for now. In the next six months, technical specifications will be created there. Recent developments on the main front, particularly for the first device, require us to consider additional details. We definitely need this information behind the head. Then when we move on to the formation of the technical, the overall appearance of a large, complex, highly intricate and sophisticated device, again we with, we will manage with the technical appearance and requirements but once we deal with the large apparatus, all of this, the matter is understood, and that is when the educational aspect comes into play in the center and on the ground, individual employees in various roles and responsibilities throughout the organization and in the design process and the construction of the Elling and the flight test complex. There will already be a need to grow significantly there in the near future and expand operations to meet the growing demand in the coming years. And this is where the system will start to grow through I believe it will take us about half a year, which is roughly six months, to achieve our goals. During this time, we will focus on working diligently and strategically to ensure success. Well, or we will save up. Having sufficient money, or rather, having sufficient funds in order to comfortably and easily afford it. Is it possible to design airships that have cruising speed 250, 350 kilos per hour? Yes, it can be more, but there will be high altitude. That is the airship near the Earth at such 
Flying at such speeds is likely impossible purely from a physical standpoint. At 5 km high, go. They will have an entirely and utterly different appearance. It will not be the same in any way whatsoever. These promising appearances will hold on longer. All in secret and completely utterly because this. Intellectual labor is indeed the very knowledge, expertise, understanding and comprehension. It doesn't need to be shown to everyone. We have very specific external appearances are almost always consistently copied by all competing organizations. The same was true for the Soviet Buran spacecraft shuttle program, which was two twins and our own Soviet little shuttle. Lapo is currently being produced at NASA at this precise moment. The reason why the external appearance is considered to be worth the cost is because it adds significant value and appeal, making it a worthwhile investment to configure it properly and correctly aerodynamic properties and so on. This is certainly a very big effort. But of course it is without a doubt possible to fly at such speeds. Will we perhaps be showing such appearances? Some we will show, some we will not. Will we build them? It is quite likely, yes, that we will get to that. Is it theoretically possible to design a stratospheric airship from which systems can launch delivery of satellites into orbit? Theoretically possible. Indeed, in both theoretical and practical terms, it is practically also possible. Will this be economically viable, perhaps this? It is necessary to study this specific issue. The Chinese have recently launched with a small solid fuel rocket for the stratospheric platform. Such projects existed in the Soviet Union as well. In modern Russia, this is discussed very often. Technically possible. The economic feasibility is very much still unclear and remains so. It needs to be figured out, perhaps. But, you know, well, we'll see. Why hasn't the amount raised for pre-launch changed? There are still 2.5 there, although they said that the transition will be to $1 million. Dennis, because we were talking perhaps that $1 million, by the way, I don't know where they changed it, probably in the personal account to be on the roadmap. We need to change it, yes, indeed, but at the same time we said that possibly even $1 million still, even this amount, it's not 100%, let's say. So I'm also on... I would like to draw your attention to this, but in the near future that there is indeed definitely a conference before that, which by the way is on November 16th, we will have it. Taking this opportunity, I remind you that 16. In November, we have a large conference solar group in Moscow, where we will also talk about the next generation airship project, where I will be, of course, and Fedor. And I believe that I think that the team of designers will most likely be there too, at least very many, and that's it. Everyone will be there, right? Great. It will be possible to meet with them in person to talk they perform on stage and personally ask questions so that please be sure to come. Just ensure that you register on time because that the number of places is limited. Well, there is no link under this broadcast, but in your personal account, you can find it in the news. You will find the registration link for the conference. There we will definitely make the final announcement about all these additional figures, maybe even earlier. You said you would stop at approximately 500 tons now. They said that it was only on 200 tons, because 500. Ton devices will be simply irreplaceable in some projects. I am really sorry, but not quite yet. There is a widely common belief that further approximately 500 tons is undesirable to go. That is indeed a 500 ton device is safe. The logical limit beyond which one might argue that indeed it is already considered to be utter madness. I actually simply stopped at the two station, I just indeed told what. The lineup will grow to include that very advantageous device with additional features, functionalities and capabilities. It is unlikely that 500 tons will be needed directly in large scale mass production in such a series. Yes, indeed, a certain number of pieces will definitely be needed, but most likely the most widely produced will be 200 tons. That's why I literally stopped at them. Then approximately 500 tons can be built. It is necessary, and why not? Or so, indeed, therefore. The last question. What is planned to be implemented in the first five stages of grant funding exactly like? I think that... In my opinion, this is approximately the timeline, about one year somewhere. It's an airship. We have already mentioned that we will launch it into the sky. Yes, it is as the main goal, or maybe some parallels. 
we will launch exactly this airship just into the sky. We Let's precisely determine the external appearance of the large apparatus and let's begin our efforts to work collaboratively on the Earth and the Lenga forest, focusing on sustainable practices and environmental conservation. Well, let me tell you a bit more about the operating company and its various functions. Can you tell me more about it in detail? What is to say about it? There is a common belief that every one ruble invested When designing, it typically gives approximately 10 rubles for aircraft invested in the process each time. One ruble in the production of serial devices yields 100 approximately rubles of profit and about one ruble invested in operation, roughly. Device gives 1,000 rubles. Will we perhaps operate our devices? Of course we will. Will we sell to someone, perhaps to any potential buyer or to any interested party? Devices share operational experience in order to... Did the number of operating companies increase? Naturally we will, because in our various and diverse interests, ensuring that there are more and more devices, what is there to say about them? For now, I won't really say anything. We have a person who is incredibly talented, exceptionally skilled and highly experienced deeply understands these transport matters, systems and operating companies and other related entities. We will have someone at the webinar who will definitely share everything. So, well, that's it. It seemed like now the last exact question from YouTube exactly. Now let's indeed move on then. Dennis, thanks you, Fedor, for the answers. Let's go to Vicontacte now. As you may recall, you have already answered one question about the airship in the city of Tomsk, which is quite interesting. Here Alexander writes a very interesting comment that in, in the Moscow region they have three thermal airships and they actively fly on them and with, will gladly participate in this project. Hello colleagues. Nice to meet you. Write in Telegram. I don't know if there is. Are you in our Telegram group? Have you joined or not? I think under this broadcast or where, as you can clearly see, there is undoubtedly a link. It should be there. Let's get a bit acquainted. Most likely with our... You are, as you know, of course, familiar with your fellow designers, colleagues, peers, and collaborators in the industry who are working alongside you in various projects. We will build devices. In general, like... A certain group on Vcontacta, or this is like a personal page. Some flying vehicles right over here, as you can clearly see guys, right now indeed. They are indeed currently doing this, as far as I can tell, in the general area of the Moscow region, which is located in Russia. I'll send you the link. Alexander, yes, right to Fyodor. Come to the office. Come to the office, yes, let's see how we can do it. We are currently located at the Voikovskaya station, a lively and bustling area. We warmly invite you to visit us soon, as we eagerly await. Approximately how many people can the airship carry? In a small setting, there are about 2,000 cubes available, and if you are fortunate, you might find that four to five of them will be considered lucky. This is quite an interesting scenario to observe. To make it so, while it will be unmanned cargo, the larger the device, the greater. It can easily transport people. If the device is approximately a 10-tonner, it typically carries around 10 tons of useful cargo, usually. Can take if the average person weighs 70 kilo and has luggage. He has 30 with him, which makes it 100 people. This is 10 tons, 100 tons, 1,000. One person, 200 tons, 2,000 people. Well, from there on, it really depends on what level of comfort you ultimately have. Clearly, this is a flying hotel, a restaurant, or still by airplane. And why exactly 40 tons and not perhaps exactly 50? There are no exactly 40 or exactly 50 or exactly so. It will all be gradual. We will decide when we have agreed on, after further deliberation and consideration. In the first device, we begin negotiating for the second. When we agree on the second, we start to develop to the tactical and technical needs. Third, fourth, and fifth. And all of this will be clarified. I roughly showed in general basically what with which this will all develop step by step. Well, I mean not approximately 500 kilograms, but rather about 100 tons or so. 500 tons, which is around approximately 10, 50, 100, 200. If 50 is preferred, I can say 50. Everything will be just fine anyway. What is planned to be done with the very first airship? For example, they suggest selling it at an auction and perhaps invest the money back into the project. The very first airship will indeed be quite experimental. 
we will work out different schemes and solutions and explore new opportunities. As soon as the scheme is without a doubt settled on it, we will produce a few more of these. What to do with the first one? Sell at auction. Hardly his indeed. It makes sense to sell, it makes sense. To operate the system and gain valuable operational experience and further improve knowledge and understanding of its functionality and efficiency, continue to use it as a flying one, the laboratory, but when it is direct, the need will essentially fall away. Ultimately, there are in the end two options available. Either continue to operate it independently or choose to if it will be suitable. If its second, third modification is not significantly to differ. And this can also be commercially viable. Interesting, just like the second, third modification, it's better to allow him in. Commerce, certainly, let the work proceed. Should it possibly be sold at auction? Let's consider thinking about it. It is unclear who will buy it and what they will do with it. And if it just like Brazilians, out of their foolishness, will let them into the house. It is clear that it will be obviously unmanned. With artificial intelligence, this will be flying. But who knows what is going on with him? It can be applied. Most probably the various devices will indeed be delivered first. We wouldn't just go to anyone at the auction, that's for sure. Moreover, the experimental sample is very valuable and holds very crucial importance in various scientific and practical contexts. Wasn't there an idea to sell advertising on it? Perhaps? I don't know. Will we return to it? Sell advertising on it and sell everything. A dirigible to indeed someone is perhaps in fact two different things. This is just in response to the question about reflections on the topic. What could be done with it, how it can be to redeem in one way or another, as it can provide maximum benefit. There were proposals here. You see, as you can clearly see, Zeppelin is written any Spurbank, right? I really don't really want to. I really just don't want to know. This advertisement is very striking. Did you mean to say that the airships themselves are trivialized? You can very easily create pixel advertising on it. Just break it into pixels. There is such a little bit more of an idea. And so that anyone can effortlessly access every pixel, can place its own and then somehow, somehow generate. From this, a truly and undeniably most captivating and incredibly enchanting image that is beautiful emerges from this scene. So that Spurbank is not mentioned there in any way. It is still a people's state, not a Spurbank one. Agreed, agreed. Yes, this is undoubtedly the most vulgar option, but in general, we are indeed also thinking about how it could be, maybe, to be, even to somehow recoup it ahead of time. So, if you have any ideas, feel free to share them. There are actually certainly indeed many ideas, and in, here's the constructor, even at the first tech stage. In this council, they began their extensive, detailed, and comprehensive reports, and thorough, important, insightful, and in-depth discussions with the position that this is how he should be with us to be, to pay off, economically feasible, and so on and so forth, etc. This creates specific and detailed frameworks in the direction of usage and adaptable in various contexts. New technologies, new solutions, and so on. That is, if it is supposed to pay off, that means it should be cheaper. If it is cheaper, then we need to save on something. That means we will not get a modern airship. If we are indeed going to explore this path in a comprehensive and detailed manner, very thoroughly and deeply. So we are currently a bit with the first device right now slightly as we proceed further. Specifically, in particular, with the very first one, we are indeed quite actually making it research-oriented. To test the best solutions for evaluation, he does not necessarily have the task of being commercially attractive. Let the second, third modification be commercially attractive. Already just serial in the end. Is it worth purchasing an airship? He is with this scientific research sacrifice as will absolutely create the opportunity to indeed create those very serial ones grocery machines and naturally they will buy it such as it is and he can stay with us you know perhaps for a little while longer if that's okay with you how will the water landing be carried out the cabin is down there all airships will be designed naturally efficiently and safely for landing on securely and effectively water because landing an airship safely securely and efficiently on water is the absolutely safest option is to carefully land there on a solid concrete pad and to catch on to some kind of built-in anchor, this is... One task is to calmly, serenely, and peacefully sit by the lake. It is more. The task is significantly much easier, and all the devices will be designed. With the ability to land on water, it goes without saying that if the Zeppelin lands on the water, nothing good will come of this, because he is simply not suited for it.
Our electronic devices will undergo necessary adaptations and modifications to ensure they meet the required standards and specifications. Examining the wind map, one might question whether a calm or tranquil state exists at the center of the ring current. This inquiry delves into the wind pattern's dynamics and their influence on these currents. In memory, they seem to be small anyway. There are currents, but not like that. Exactly along the main circumference. Well, everything is, in a way, different at various heights too, which influences the experience and perception. Are rigid sails on the hull justified if there are additional considerations, factors, or other elements? When considering your options, carefully, deliberately, and efficiently, choose the optimal altitude of movement with the tailwind. Well, generally he is like a sail. He has a very a large, spacious, and expansive area, and a gentle, favorable wind indeed, and so it will be. I, like at the very beginning, also thought that, at the very start, initially, in the beginning, I personally felt and believed that this was the case. It would be possible to have some sails on it there. To set it very romantically, but most likely they will be to simply destabilize it in order to overload it, and if unexpectedly we... Someday we will develop super lightweight, super strong modern materials. They're based on composite coal, aerogel, and various other related materials in order to... These sails weighed nothing. They were as rigid as possible, and were managed very quickly, so there may be some meaning emerges Currently, we are limited by the material and technological constraints of the sails. Considering the existing resources and advancements, these seem to have no specific meaning or any particular significance or importance. So, it seems we have indeed one last question. First on VK and then we will move to YouTube. This is not a question, but a suggestion. They propose to create a museum of airship construction. Let's say, a museum of airships of various types and sizes, from small to large. Well, by the way, I absolutely think it will be a good idea. When we have our own devices, a showroom will definitely be needed and set up. To demonstrate some analogies, I think perhaps why not for the interest... Of course, they are absolutely all at the airship dome. All of them. The devices will undoubtedly be parked. That's already. It will indeed be like a kind of showroom. A museum is certainly something old. And not working after all, a showroom is something functional that demonstrates its capabilities. That is, it will be implemented by itself at the airship terminal. So yes, but it will definitely be some kind of uncovered one. The room, because this compact and efficient little device is 40 meters in length and there about 11 meters in diameter. That is the body of the airship itself, plus of course more. There is a gondola, tail fins and so on. This is a small device and there are large devices there approximately 100, 200, or 300 meters in length. Such premises cannot be set up, of course. The first question is actually regarding the stage. When will it change? When will info be available? I, th I already answered you about this today, that right now. We have consistently and reliably what we talked about. We are raising an amount within $1 million, but this could indeed really change. I said that before the conference or during the conference itself. We will definitely be ready for the conferences by this time, as it ah. should be done correctly. To say, the technical documentation or how we will form it for the first airship. What should we have ready? I missed it while I was reading the questions. We held a scientific and technical event before the conference. What documentation should be prepared? And why is it necessary for the process? The device, yes, the first one. Tactics, technical requirements, technical proposal, and comprehensive detailed strategic planning, execution, and evaluation. Justification, like an important engineering note. When our first initial pool of documents is initially formed, then we can absolutely and without a doubt say for sure, nowhere are we not. They miscalculated naming exactly this amount for the pre-launch stage, but it will happen soon. This work is in progress. Yes, actually, there was a question here that you missed. How much is approximately $100 million in Kamaz vehicles, roughly? Well, I didn't read it, because I do not know the answer. I also don't know the answer, and perhaps these... Some corrupt officials have certainly indeed been apprehended to see how much money they had in, in the apartments to estimate approximately how many cubic meters are there or so. But that's all at once. And here you see it's five years and it's monthly like this. So little by little, bit by bit, gradually and slowly and just... The implementation removes resources. So in Kamas vehicles, probably not at all. Here profit will be available and it will be calculated and measured in Kamas vehicles right away, as soon as possible.
Depends which Kamaz vehicles considered. Kamaz vehicles are different, and the specific model of the Kamaz is not indicated. With three airships currently operating with 100 do on the 500 ton. Yes, we will have to count the money and profit in tons. So, could you possibly tell me if the fundraising speed is sufficient, please? Funds $350,000 per month, not very quickly today, so... Well, first of all, everything is relative, which means... Quickly, not quickly, do you know somewhere? In the vastness of the internet, some projects that raise money faster, yes. Besides our own project, Sovomash, such as... This is the first point. The second point... You must absolutely and essentially understand that you should indeed not focus on the total amount now and slightly on other indicators regarding the number of packages and the number of investors. Why? When amounts of one, two million dollars come into the total for a month, you must indeed understand that these are not the, the money that people have decided to invest this month. Additionally, people are paying in installments. And for that amount to be reached, it must gradually and consistently accumulate. A large number of people who are paying these different kinds of installments, and it is impossible for her to take it and accumulate it over one month. Accordingly, indeed, we are literally moving from month to month at a certain pace, and now we have indeed the amount of money in installments is increasing, increasing, increasing. I mean, like new generation airships, and after some time, perhaps, for example, in six months, we already, we will reach the same amount. For example, one million because it has a cumulative effect. Moreover, we have it even a bit more complicated. <coughs> Will it reach this amount here? In what sense? Because we have installment payments here? Longer, for 50 months. Previous project, we lacked installment payments. But this is also a temporary situation. We will be removing these installments in the coming days. It is clear to stretch a package of $5,000 over five years. Yes, it is most definitely still suitable right now, because the project will be funded, but then there will be no point. Therefore, if we look at these fundamental basic indicators, then I have indeed already mentioned that we currently have results, and the funding rates are 10 times higher than those. The pace at which the Duinov engine project initially and gradually began, this can already be compared. It is clear and understandable. So, the funding right now is, indeed firstly, adequately and sufficiently clear, and it's clear. At this current stage, we in fact only have everything is definitely being formed, so even, I think, a smaller amount, it is likely would undoubtedly be sufficient overall. Later, later, the volume of investments will be, moreover, more critical when people will be hired for work in more. Yes, we are flexible. It turns out that if there were actually any state, a financing and development program there, it's clear. There are deadlines related matters. We can plan based on the incoming amount, like approximately their actions and not on their own tail, or perhaps even to advance conditionally to plan something beyond these amounts. If more were coming, I think it's unlikely that we would would have accelerated significantly at this stage. After all, organizational and administrative challenges and issues, such as management, coordination, planning, and oversight, not money. They are closing, after all. It is some effort, a person, resources, hours, and others. But, for example, we could already have the computing center now to start building as we are in the process of saving for it. Of course, it is absolutely necessary. But this is indeed not a top priority task. So there is enough money. So, in Tomsk, there is a production of small airships. There was recently a news. Do you know anything about this? Well, if so, tell me which specific one. How many cubic meters is the shell approximately? Because for now, indeed, all those who currently at present have the news. I saw, indeed, there are extremely small devices. It's embarrassing to measure them in cubes. It is approximately six meters long. I will take a look. This is more of a quadcopter with aerostatic unloading, for example. More than a dirigible. Well, at first glance, it seems like perhaps it's not visible. Sure, could you please send the link to the link? so that we can get to know each other better, let's get acquainted. So how many stages are there in total? There are a total of 20 stages of financing. <coughs> but right now, it's not even the first. It's the pre-launch at this particular stage. We will move on to the first one in the near future. Is the issue of registering the parent company being considered because of this scheme in the special economic zone? Under consideration. There is even a special aerospace. A cluster was recently created in Ryazan. They said the first prototype, 
Lift the air. Come. We said okay. We'll definitely come back in a year. Tomsk is specifically designed solely for the training, development and enhancement of UAVs, also known as unmanned aerial vehicles. What exactly will drive your machines and efficiently? Beves. Could you please explain what this particular abbreviation stands for and provide some context or examples to help clarify its meaning? Ultimately, indeed, only God truly knows the full truth. So what exactly will likely drive your machines? Ready air system. What we'll be pushing? As for the engines, we are looking into it. Now what we'll be pushing? Precisely with high probability, the main marching installation will be, this is a fuel engine, currently being evaluated in the aviation sector, under consideration. Several, for example, Chinese, German, and some others. Some European one. Currently, we do not have any Russian ones as the main options, at this particular moment. A hybrid scheme is also being considered, that is, with, on one side, it is indeed an aircraft engine, as you can see, and there, two rotary transmissions conditionally, which are from it. They convey the moment. You can change the angles or rotate them. To stabilize the route, to add a couple of additional electric engines now, here is the weight summary being prepared according to this scheme, as per the guidelines and specifications, in a detailed manner. So as soon as the extremely scientific and highly respected and technical council, we may, in all likelihood, approve this scheme. I will tell you. And what wow. about the weather conditions? The person asks. Maybe related to what we were just talking about, about the launch of the first device or in general? Could you clarify? Yes. In order for the airship to be able to effectively handle, with acceptable differences in a variety of weather conditions, such as in different regions and other factors, this, the task is done in the design phase. She must be standing right now, at this moment. That if the airship is equipped with a weak and potentially unreliable safety system, the energy conditionally, the wind rose, it started to rain. You can no longer use it. If you set the task that the wind to such values conditionally rain snow up to such values need to be overcome. It all just gets laid out at the moment of its development. There, he acquires something, loses something naturally, but is gradually starting to cope with the weather conditions. This is a common task, and it is definitely worth it. That is, indeed, essentially, a modern airship, especially something quite similar, the cargo drone, which means that it should still have some all-weather capabilities in various conditions such as rain, snow, or fog, but not in a way that we simply wait for a lull and the little sun, and only then will it fly. The business solution is comprehensive maximum in tourism. Necessary, but hardly in environmental logistics. Therefore, the qualities of the modern, the airship is still a fair-weather vehicle, as it has always been. And indeed, the task is to build exactly such specific devices and... The question is also how the Dirzabal will withstand the wind. And you just literally answered him as well, actually. There is no problem resisting the wind. There is no Dirzabal. A hundred years ago, the Germans were calm, flew from Europe to America. They were very frequent there. Well, not frequent. Regular flights and everything was happening with the weather there whatever it takes, and they handled it in an exceptionally composed manner. One hundred, one hundred and twenty years ago, and twenty years ago, that is, Dir Zabli have already flown on the planet. The wind didn't make its presence known yesterday, so overall, certainly, indeed, as expected, this is not a question. One can simply fight against the wind more effectively alone, by using other or third methods to combine these methods. For some certain specific climatic conditions, it is good that there is big data, there is a comprehensive understanding of when, where, and what. The winds blow at what heights, and when you make a dirigible for... In a certain region, it is clear that there are specific the requirements that the airship must meet. Everything is known now, and everything will be done as... Well, if this is Africa, it is hot, and the elevation is understandable. This is understandable humidity. And these are understandable winds there. It will be designed like this. If this is the north, then the other. If you need a universal one from Africa to... The north can definitely, without a doubt, which means this is the third device. Everything depends on the task. From an engineering perspective, definitely addressing it there is not a problem. There is a Zeppelin right on your table. You are not advertising it. By the way, we need to change it to ours. What exactly do you think it will be called... 
So far, the name of the new one is historically being formed. This was, as you know, suggested by Pavel. Pavel confessed that it was not Pavel who made the suggestion. Alexei Romanov. It's new, but we are trying. Register domains, corporate email. By the way, they registered Aeronovo, because everything that is related to the new, very heavily congested. Corporate email? Yes, absolutely. But this is not a domain, right? No. Well, that's good. By the way, just to mention... When it appears, it will appear very soon. Yes, Fyodor, ready? We do not advertise it. It simply exists. Here is what Pavel brought from Germany. Yes, that was exactly when I flew on the airship. By the way, a video will be released soon, finally. Fyodor was already crossing things out and writing something new. Well, I wrote this marker, which is very easy to erase. Yes. I did some vandalism, yes. It looked funny. But why cross it out and write on it? If we have other electronic devices, such as smart devices like smartphones, tablets, laptops, and other electronic gadgets... The club star consists of a hundred people or maybe more. Thousands of people who invested approximately more than $25,000. There can only be a hundred in the club star. A person who indeed in this case like you... They wrote that they should invest at approximately the very least $25,000. At the same time, simultaneously, you can see how we have 100 new places. They open up, essentially, when a new project indeed begins, as it were, so to speak. That is in our previous project, the club. 100 was naturally fully occupied, of course, but when it opened... The project of new generation airships, as you know, let's say, an opportunity has arisen for another 100 people to simply get into the club 100. To do this, you need to invest $25,000. Well, accordingly, $5,000 if you definitely want to join the Club 1000. The number of seats is limited. I remember there used to be a lot of talk. They said, you all, you're deceiving people, you just take anyone there. No, there is indeed, in fact, a limited number of places. These people know each other, strawberries. That they have their own chat, they communicate. The Club 100 truly has a lot of unique features. Information that is published for them. So, everything we have is truly like a closed club. Investors, there is indeed currently one, and there are still available spots as well. When a butterfly flies at Duino, maybe will he share with you? Apparently, indeed, it's about the engines. Yes, I spoke with Dimitri Alex. He said to set the technical specifications, everything that we need to move forward, as we have discussed and agreed upon, based on the previously established mutual understanding. Dimitri's engines will be to be used on airships, and by the way, undoubtedly at the scientific and technical, this was also mentioned in the council. That is, in other words, under specific conditions, in the event that it might potentially be feasible to obtain. As for the engines, let's say that no one is definitely opposed to it. Their technical specifications of the matrix type. Engines even unexpectedly surprised the airship pilots. Weight dimensions power. There is a question here along with a proposal. They address the state, asking whether there will be... It is permitted to use a dirigible of such volumes. Here the story is somewhat the opposite. The government officially and formally made an external request in a detailed manner and comprehensive to the relevant authorities. Your proposals by the new year. In any direction of the state's development structures, propose one device or a gadget, a lineup, construction, factory, entire industries, anything at all, such as, that is, the government is waiting for a proposal. It has written that it needs from approximately 20 or typically ranging from 30 to 300 or from 20 to 300 typically. The dimensions for the development of the northern sea route have been set in various aspects and thoroughly established. Airships are needed. We are waiting for proposals of any scale, format, and quality. They are waiting for it until the new year. Will we be forming it there for them, perhaps, or maybe even... I just don't know yet. I know that absolutely, indeed, many people have become very energetic and lively, recently started to actively stir and are making their proposals under this program. However, these suggestions are currently only at the stage of being proposals, similar to what you might find in a presentation prepared by a group of students working together collectively. I find myself in a bit of a dilemma, you see, because I really don't want to. How should I put it? Well, there are certain things that I feel hesitant about doing. It's not that, damn... I don't want to insult anyone. In short, 
it's easier to lift the device into the air within years and then talk seriously about something, rather than engaging in paperwork and routine tasks and being on par with others. To prove that you really can do it, it's easier to do... I will most definitely probably write it by myself after this. But it will certainly indeed not go unnoticed. Some people talk while others take action. Is it possible to make a dirigible and electric wind generator? Yes, indeed it certainly is. The Chinese recently launched it. But actually, indeed, they launched this imported balloon that is from the airship rope. Therefore, as you can clearly see, it is undoubtedly no longer a dirigible, but it is possible. It's just a dirigible if you untie it from the ground beneath it all and beyond. The strings, then, it will start to move with the wind. So the wind will definitely not turn the blades, and nothing will be generated. In order for something to be generated, there must be a difference. In the slight differences in the relative speeds between the air mass and the airship, then he needs to turn on his screws to row against the wind so that the wind... He was slowly spinning the blades of the generator unit. Then why? Therefore, it is easier to tie it to the rope, as the Chinese did. And then, relative to the air mass, it remains in place. Oh, well, it's moving. In short, the air mass relative to it. Jin is spinning. I don't remember they launched 50 kilowatts. First experimental phase like this. 100 kilowatts will be launched. How justified is this certainly at all? Well, economically, it is still unclear, but the experience is cool and interesting. Well done indeed for what they are absolutely certainly doing. Well, yes, we need to publish the news, airship turbine. We'll send it right away in Telegram now. Shipping directly from right over here, you know, exactly. Yes, if you want to read, then I am currently at this very moment. I will send this pre-launch in the chat on Dirigible and ensure it is thoroughly reviewed by the team and stakeholders before final approval. Here, right? Just a group, only. I somehow seem to have ended up in the wrong chat. I think it's probably actually over there. But she was already there before. Yes, Sergey, like definitely sent it. All right, I understand and agree with what you're saying, so let's proceed with that plan, shall we? What will fill the volume? Russian helium? Of course. Exclusively Russian. Right now, many countries, well, our country, and it seems to have prohibited the transportation of helium. Strategic raw materials. We are fortunate to have access to one of the few available sources of information, especially in these circumstances. This rare resource is incredibly beneficial, providing insights and data not easily found elsewhere. It is an indispensable asset in our pursuit of knowledge and understanding. Helium flows out by gravity along with other lifting gases. There, in fact, indeed, you can just... to inflate directly from the field. The balloons were supposed to fly. It's better to purify the helium. But overall, the gas is already being lifted from there. So yes, Russia on helium, we will be rich and we'll fly on it. At Sovomash, join 100 Club. But to join, if yes, what amount is needed? No. Having invested in Sovomash, I'm in the club. You cannot enter 100 because it is a privilege. Was exclusively available for the first 100 major investors. Investors when the Sovomash project was just starting. So literally everything is already there. Only by investing in airships can one gain entry to the club. I don't see any more questions. Requested is a new word for their devices, potentially perhaps in the honor of the Russian airship or something like that. I tried Gates to generate a new word for myself. The word dirigible is not liked. It is French. It is like, would be a conductor, a dirigible, that is a manager, controlled. But we somehow with word formation in modern realities is indeed difficult intricate challenging and multifaceted in contemporary settings the airplane flies by itself this thing also flies effortlessly by itself in fact it's essentially an airplane come up with a unique distinctive imaginative innovative and original new word for this airship by the way in english it's called airship airship as it is that's exactly it literally that is the airship the word is used but very rarely that is an airship Americans say yes, like airship. We can also talk a bit more about the airship. It sounds absolutely and truly beautiful indeed. Incredibly so, really. We can then likely conclude on this. There are no more questions like that. How much money is needed to build the minimum apparatus? 
Well, we are currently estimating that it is expected that it will take approximately around one and a half hours to complete the task at hand, which is expected to take from approximately one and a half to two million dollars we... We will spend on the construction of the first small device, including additional details about the overall project and its significance in the field. This is basically for everything in general. For salaries, for materials, and for developments, and for the purchase of computers, computational ones. Then why is rest amount needed? Well, because organizing serial production and to build one device, and moreover, serial production of two units, construction of berths, there. Acquiring land is not just a simple task. It involves a series of complex steps and considerations that make it a significantly larger undertaking than one might initially expect. We're finishing up, right? Before having concluded our broadcast, I remind you once again to like and share reposts. Be sure to send this link to your friend who hasn't seen it yet, is not familiar with the project, but can access it directly through this link. You can view everything in the recording here. In this way, you will significantly increase the number of investors. The number of people who undoubtedly support our project and significantly accelerate the emergence of the first device. Invest yourself, use our investment platform and securely watch your wealth grow. Choose the investment proposals that interest you and remember that soon we are approaching the comprehensive and successful completion of the pre-launch financing stage. Follow us on social media, on YouTube, where to watch, on vcontact or other links. Everything is below and observe the project. By the way, the word invest is also foreign. So invest, become investors, and grow. Assist in the creation and development of an amazing and impactful project that will bring significant benefits and positive changes. That's it. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone.